Assembly will recognize specific members of your class. It is a celebration of the entire class's accomplishments during your time at the upper school. All of you have contributed your many talents and gifts in your own way to our community and played a significant leadership role at the school. And for that, we thank you. After thoughtful and lengthy discussions, Awards recipients were selected by either the department to which the award pertains or the full faculty. I can honestly say that there were several candidates for each award. Choosing an eventual winner was difficult. Today, seniors will be acknowledged for their excellence in academia, athletics, the arts, service, and character within this community. If your name is called, please come forward to receive your award down either aisle, up the stairs, and then return to your seat. I attended an alumni event in Boston some time ago where I met Mr. Sheldon Buck, class of 1954. We talked about the great teaching he received as a student here, and he asked me if great teaching was still the hallmark of the MK experience, and I could confidently tell him yes. I asked him who some of his great teachers were, and he said, Mr. Avery Barris, Mr. William Miller, two people in whose names we will bestow awards today. To me, that was a great example that great teaching has always been, and still remains, a constant in the MK experience. It is those teachers, these teachers, that will be honoring you this afternoon. Before we begin our program, I have a few housekeeping details for you. First, I need to take a moment and thank Mrs. Glazer, who made all of this happen today. The books wrapped, the flowers, the way this all works, going off without a hitch. I'd like to ask Ms. Blazer to come up and accept a small token of my appreciation for her. <laughs> we have some seniors who cannot attend today's ceremony. They are um, competing in athletic contests and are, or are called to another conflict. So we will read all of the citations for those students tonight as written by their presenters. In certain cases, there may be someone here to receive the award on their behalf. Commencement will be streamed live via MKA TV. You've been sent the link, but you can also simply tell your friends and family who cannot be there tomorrow to go to YouTube and search MKA Commencements uh, to get the link. Seniors, please arrive to the Upper School Dining Hall by 3.30 tomorrow and check in with Mr. Leather immediately when you get here. To those family members and friends planning to attend Commencement, the only way to enter is through Walden Gate, which will not open until 4 p.m. The area by the gate and the walkway down to the gate from Lloyd Road must be cleared by 4.45, so please plan on being in your seat uh, ahead of that. And I call your attention to the program today where you will find the awards, the presenters, and the citations listed. So we'll begin today's ceremony with a presentation of the Heads Award. The Heads Award dates back to Montclair Academy and are given annually to deserving seniors who make a significant positive contribution to the life of the upper school. I choose them after consultation with the upper school administrative team 
and receiving nominations from the upper school faculty. This year we'll be giving four heads awards. I'll give two now and two at the beginning of the second half. Almost two years after her powerful student share about her experience as a Filipino American at MKA, our first winner of the Heads Award words continue to resonate. She spoke movingly about embracing her heritage, what she had to hide for years, and how our identity has helped shape who she is today. It was a stunning, mature, reflective talk that pushed all of us. Our awardee has not only fostered change and inclusivity throughout her time at the upper school, but her actions have also had a profound impact beyond the classroom walls. She has grown the AAPI Affinity Group. She has partnered with a classmate to create an Asian American identity website with educational resources. Her efforts have not only inspired other Asian students to share their stories, fostering a sense of belonging and understanding in our community, but they've also sparked conversations and understanding to the wider community. Beyond advocacy, our awardee has been a true leader, setting an example for others. A cheer captain, founder of the Fiber Arts Club for Community Service, a women in STEM mentor and academy guide, she consistently uplifts others. Her love of learning is infectious, evidenced by her independent Asian American Studies research project which not only increased awareness of the AAPI experience, but also earned her a prestigious Princeton Prize in Race Relations Certificate. She's also an accomplished violinist. I'm honored to present a Heads Award to Alana Arcilla. recipient is an individual who not only stands out, but also shapes the crowd. She's tackled one of the most demanding courses of study we offer and enthusiastically embraces each challenge, inside and outside the classroom, ready to embrace her learning journey. As a two-time faculty scholar, our awardee has left an indelible mark on in our community. Teachers consistently praise her as a wonderful presence, an integral member of our class, and a strong collaborator with her peers. Her curiosity, care, great sense of humor, desire to dig deeper, and commitment to self-improvement separate her from her peers. What truly sets our awardee apart is her insatiable thirst for knowledge that extends far beyond the classroom. She's actively sought opportunities to broaden her horizons, participating in exchange programs, conducting genomic research, interning with a congressional campaign, and attending summer programs at prestigious universities. Yet she has managed to strike a remarkable balance, enjoying a purposeful, intellectually engaging life while maintaining a vibrant calendar dedicated to the things she holds dear. Her diverse experiences and intellectual pursuits are truly impressive. Our awardee brings contagious, positive energy and loud enthusiasm to everything she does. I've seen it firsthand. On our midterm trip to Greece, she struck this playful balance between hard work and fun, her enthusiasm shining through at every opportunity, whether we were ready for it or not. I'm pleased to present a Heads Award to Hannah Ewing. physics at the AP level 
and has excelled in all of them, while also impressing his teachers with his quiet presence <coughs> and humility. His students' AP Physics One and AP Chemistry teachers both know that he is a quiet learning machine and that his comments demonstrate a keen scientific mind and are often shared with a dry wit. These thoughts are echoed by his AP Biology teacher, who remarks that his, this student was one of the most laser-focused students he has ever had and commends him for representing MKA in the Biology Olympiad. As this student's AP Physics Calculus teacher, I have found him to be highly skilled in using a mathematical framework to extrapolate nuanced conceptual understanding. This is a hallmark of the mindset of physicists and is something that this student does exceptionally well. His love of analytical thinking was further demonstrated in the matrix project, an investigation of key concepts in quantum mechanics as seen through the eyes, through, through the lens of a mathematician. Please join me in congratulating this year's Miller Prize recipient, Gary Keith. Students like this are the reason I had to start bringing my college textbooks to school as I needed more challenging problems <laughs> and, uh, and to have references to answer questions that go well beyond the scope of the usual high school curriculum. For one of this awardee science teachers, he has all the hallmark hallmarks of a true scientific mindset. He's curious about the way that the natural world, natural world works. He understands how to use a mathematical framework to expand his conceptual understanding. He uses data and observation to, his form, to inform his own ideas, and he has a healthy dose of skepticism. As his own teacher, I can confidently say that he will shine in any math and science class, due not only to ability and the focus and thought he gives to what he is learning, but also the community and rapport he is able to build with his peers. This recipient is an earnest student with the tremendous quality of continually looking out at the world around him with curiosity, wonder, and a willingness to tackle big problems, even knowing that it may take a while to find an answer, which is what we need more of in the world. This year's Downsboro Award goes to Cyrus Rosenberg. Tonight, I have the honor to present the Margaret Jenkins Osborne Prize for Excellence in Science, which is awarded to a student who has demonstrated outstanding interest in science, understanding of concepts, and creativity in their studies. This awardee has a transcript full of the most advanced and challenging STEM courses offered at MKA, including both AP Chemistry and AP Physics with Calculus this year. But this list of courses fails to capture the enthusiasm and creativity she brings to her study of science. This student made an impression on the science department last year in Science Research Honors, where she helped get our microalgae program off the ground. She continued her study of algae this year with an independent study project that took many to a center. She was able to bring together different ideas to understand how she could make a difference in the community. One of the highlights of this student's science journey at MKA was a talk she gave as part of the STEM research seminar series this spring. In her seminar, she displayed an enthusiasm for science and explained her project in a way that her peers could follow. We are so excited to see where the student's passion for STEM takes her. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Osborne Prize, Kavya Krishnan.
Good afternoon. The MKA strings program was established with, by our long-term headmaster, Dr. Peter Greer, over 28 years ago. He strongly believed that you cannot have an excellent educational institution without an orchestral program. He envisioned that starting a strings program here at MKA will make the school above and beyond. Following that idea of above and beyond, we have been guided to award the National Strings Award to students who fall into this category. This year, we have two students who fit the criteria. From the very beginning, it was obvious that playing strings was a big part of their life. They were such strong players that they were always chosen as soloists. They both took lessons from a very young age, participated in youth orchestras, music programs outside of the school, competitive summer intensive programs. They spend their free time working on additional music projects, such as the Chamber Music Club, organizing various performances, to name a few. Because of them, the younger students strive to be a part of the advanced strings and view participation in this group as a great honor. They were both featured as concerto soloists at our concert at Carnegie Hall in May. And they are not only some of our most uh, talented students that we have had here at MKA, but they are truly um, wonderful young people who promise to continue playing their string instruments in college. Their personality is a combination of dedication, refined manners, and positive attitude. Today, with great pleasure, I present the MKA National Orchestra Award to young violinist Matthew Bonardi and cellist Christopher Hernandez. Sousa Band Award recognizes superior musicianship and outstanding dedication. Superior musicianship, of course, refers to playing the notes accurately, but also with expressive phrasing, dynamic shading, and a beautiful tone. Dedication, of course, means coming to rehearsals, even when running from a sporting event, coming from work, or coming from a family celebration. Our award winner did just that throughout all their four years in the MKA upper school bands. Our award winner led by example in the concert band, jazz band, and at times even the MKA pep band with a strong sound that others copied and followed. This person defined the term lead player in a section or band. John Philip Sousa was a gentleman who always made time to speak with audience after his concerts. He was particularly respectful to the people who cleaned his dressing rooms and auditoriums. Finally, Sousa was a huge baseball fan, and there was always a Sousa baseball team when the band was touring. Our award winner is also one who is kind and respectful to all, and one who balances life with athletics. It's a pleasure to award the MKA Sousa Band Award to trumpeter Nolan Jives. too long if the orchestra started. <laughs> <laughs> Moving to the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award, uh, this award recognizes the outstanding jazz musician in each high school in America. Prior recipients here at MKA include Melanie Brady, Isaiah Thompson, John Colbert, Sebastian So, and Rafi Arns, uh, Aronson, all dedicated artists who performed on this stage. Louis Armstrong, as you know, brought joy, creativity, and a beautiful sense of swing to every performance. Well known as a trumpet player, primarily, Mr. Armstrong also was a celebrated singer, 
and enjoyed hit records with the songs Blueberry Hill, Mac the Knife, and Hello Dolly. He crossed genres and appeared in clubs on, on film and on television. Our Louis Armstrong Award winner plays many instruments and sings. Our recipient, recipient brings joy to every situation, whether as a world-class musician or as a storyteller on a bus ride. Our awardee is an outstanding improviser and one I've called on many, many times, whether in the MK Jazz Band, MK Jazz Hat, or the MK Hep Band. This musician has recently returned from a May-term trip to Nashville and Memphis, and I cannot wait to see how that has inspired his playing and creativity. I am very proud to award the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award to guitarist Jared Green. Her impressive range of work was in digital photography, film, and collage. 
Her portfolio was relevant to current times and considered teenagers' relationship, dependency, and glorification of technology and its harmful impacts in the form of paradoxical commercial photography. After shooting six rolls of film last summer, she was ready to develop in the, at the darkroom door on the first day of the year, which is one example of many that explains her joy for the medium. She is in the lab every chance she gets. And if she's not there, you may have seen her backstage setting up photo shoots of her classmates and models, or prying the keys off an old keyboard to use as props. In the role of a peer critic prompted to share thoughts, she would combat any collective pause with an interesting observation because discussing art came naturally to her. In response to a question on advice for aspiring cinematographers, her favorite artist, Christopher Doyle, said, same as always, just do it. In today's world, there's no excuse not to. And although short and very simple, uh, it's perfect for our Cuneo Award recipient as she emerges into her college studies. Congratulations, Eliana Vega. Music Award is given to two seniors who have distinguished themselves with outstanding technique, skill, musical aptitude, and expression. This student demonstrates an incredible amount of effort and commitment in every rehearsal and performance. He has a broad vocal range and he has shown exceptional work in solo and ensemble singing. This recipient is extremely flexible in all rehearsals and performances and he's able to sing multiple genres of vocal music extremely well. He has a deep appreciation and respect for classical music as well as modern day pop music, and he gives 100% attention and care to all of the songs he works on, which results in excellent work across multiple MK singing ensembles. He has a very impressive quality, and that is to take creative risks in music and singing. For example, in our process of working on music, he will put himself out there and go for the high note and go for the expression and the interpretation without fear of it not sounding like a final product throughout the learning process, which it should not be. This is one of many admirable qualities that make him a highly respected member of our singing program, and it is one of the reasons he inspires those around him. I proudly present one of this year's Vocal Music Awards to Aiden Moss. This Vocal Music Award, which is given to two seniors this year who have distinguished themselves with outstanding technique, skill, musical aptitude, and expression. This student has exemplified dedication and hard work at singing for four years. As a 10th grader, she was one of the youngest members of Jazz Choir. During her time at the upper school, this recipient shared her solo voice with other areas of the school at events for the MK community and belonged to Chamber Singers Jazz Choir and Remix for multiple years recently as a captain. What many people don't know is that she participates in the arts and singing outside of MKA for many years. Oftentimes, she is in New York City since her freshman year for a musical event. This is because she makes it look easy to do it all, and she is humble about her talent and abilities. While everyone's voice is unique, this student is known for having a tone quality that is distinctive. Audience members who have heard her sing over the years comment on the remarkable sound she has as a soloist. She's able to bend the pitch with inflection applied and bring it right back to center. As an ensemble singer, she's a true team player in all vocal groups. I proudly present one of this year's Vocal Music Awards to Caroline Sachs.
complicated art form. Most people think about high jumps and many turns when they define a great dancer. I would agree technical skill is important and separates the good from the great. However, there is so much more. Expression, emotion, storytelling, depth of detail, that is what separates the great from the exceptional. I am a teacher, so I believe that art can be taught. But I would be remiss if I didn't admit some aspects, those last ones, might just be innate. They come from within the dancer and are not something that can be translated from the teacher to the student. This dancer came to me with those aspects already on display. She's a curious dancer, wants to learn every style. She's a dancer focused on growth, always seeking critique and applying it immediately. She's a dancer unafraid of taking risks, whether it's with her own choreography or with dancing that of others. She has a dancer's discipline, working harder than everyone in the room every single day. She is also majestic. You know when she's on stage. Her eyes are drawn to her. She's fully engaged in every moment of every piece and she engages the audience as well. I have adored working with her and truly hope she keeps dance in her life. The Dance Award goes to Lena Greenberg. topic of women in comedy, specifically why there are fewer women than men in the field. Years later, I am still interested in this area and also amazed when I get to teach a female student who breaks the mold. This year's Deachin Award recipient was one of those students. She came into her first audition freshman year and immediately took comedic risks. She listened, took direction, and just went for it, and she's been doing that ever since. She's made audiences laugh for four years, whether it was the fall play or Cougar Improv Night, because comedy is in her blood. However, she's that rare two sides of the coin actor. She does drama just as well. She will give you a detailed, emotional, and intense performance that comes from deep within her every time. From knowing her as well as I do, I know that it comes from a heart filled with just wanting to do well. She wants so much to make her director proud and to give the audiences a performance worthy of their time. And while it's often hard to convince her of this fact, she gives them just that, every show, every time. A famous actor quote is, theater takes your guts, takes your soul, but the good ones are willing to give it. She's always been one of the good ones. The Deachin Drama Award goes to Logan Zer. saw at auditions was only the beginning of what they can do. Trust that they are walking step for step with you in rehearsals, even if it's bumpy. And the scariest one, that whatever level they are at in tech week, it will jump up a few notches when the audience arrives. Well, after our first show together, I knew the foundation of trust had been built between us, and we could run with it for years, which we did. Especially because when the audience arrives, he doesn't jump up a few notches. He soars beyond imagination. Audiences just love him no matter what role he plays. He can be a confused teenage boyfriend, a sly, slimy political aide, a lovable weasel climbing the corporate ladder, or everyone's favorite Transylvanian father. <laughs> Doesn't matter, they eat him up. I always smile to myself when watching him during a show because he's making it look so easy, so effortless. No one would ever know how much work it took to create what they are seeing. Working with him has been an utter joy for me and I'm sad to see our time end. The Musical Theater Best Actor Award goes to Elliot Higgins. Everyone 
once in a while as a teacher, you get a student who pushes you. They push you to be better, to do better, to go for more. They drive you a little crazy in the process, but it's so worth it in the end. They leave having grown beyond measure, and you have grown as well. This year's Best Actress recipient was one of those students for me. Her audition tape for her freshman year year musical, I watched it three times. I was in awe at the raw talent I saw from this young newcomer and so excited at the idea of all I could do with it. She was one of the few freshmen that got cast that year and she earned a lead every year since. I've rarely seen a student strive for excellence the way she does. She's an unstoppable force in rehearsal. Day two of rehearsal, for her, might as well be opening night. That's the level she gives you because she won't accept anything less from herself. She's played every character we could give her, from an edgy kid, to a bubbly, dim-witted sister, to a kind, adorable secretary, to the iconic Wednesday Adams. And she nailed it every time. The Musical Theater Best Actress Award goes to Mae Slim. <laughs> accuse me of loving my crew more than them. The accusation is accurate, I do. Because I know for certain there is no show without the crew. Everything we watch happen on stage is because they made sure it could. Everything that looks like it just appeared tech week was actually worked on for months by the crew. It's a thankless, exhausting job with no glory. They do it for their they don't do it for their names on the cast list or their bow at the end. They do it for the love of theater, which is what makes them so special. The musical is a wild circus at MKA. <laughs> 50 cast members and another 12 on crew. I need a right hand to keep the train running each day and I feel like the circus gets bigger every year. Luckily for me though, I have had with me these last few years not just a right hand but a left hand also to make it all work. They came to me as a package deal, but they each bring their own skill set that have given the program too much to measure. What they do share, however, is a calm demeanor needed for working with actors, a smile and ability to laugh needed for working with me, optimism combined with creativity and a strong ethic, work ethic needed for working in theater, and humbleness. Working with them has been a pleasure, and I am so sad to see them go. This year's Technical Theater Award goes to Annabelle and Sebastian Gonzalez.
teach Spanish language and culture. A course to test whether your language abilities allow you to learn, understand, and appreciate Spanish-speaking cultures, something that is personal to you. You have spent the last four years working tremendously hard to be where you are today. Both as a sophomore in three honors and this year in AP, you pushed yourself harder and beyond any expectations I had for my class or my students. You took feedback, corrections, and suggestions, and worked to make each assignment better than the last. If I asked for a two-minute presentation, you went the full-blown AP way with all the bells and whistles that you knew the curriculum expected of you. Your hard work did not go unnoticed, and I understand how diligently you worked, never showing any frustration with the level of difficulty or topics or assignments. While it may have been a different class than you expected compared to previous years, as a gifted language student, you adapted to the rigor, making you the type of student a teacher dreams of teaching. Although your heart is in STEM, I hope you remember your roots and how your strength as a Spanish speaker will take you far in life. Please help me to congratulate this year's Spanish prize winner, Sebastián González. celebrate the exceptional achievements of one particularly gifted linguist, whom I consider myself incredibly lucky to have had in my class over the past two years. This student grew up, sorry, to this student, throughout our time together, beyond your undeniable linguistic prowess, I have been equally amazed by the unparalleled level of maturity, dedication, and involvement that you have consistently shown in all your craft playing an essential role in all discussions and debates through your thoughtful initiatives and cons consistently well-researched contributions. I particularly relished how during our work diving into various global issues, you regularly emerged as a catalyst for critical thinking, encouraging all involved to consider diverse perspectives, 
while fostering an environment of intellectual growth and mutual respect. Whether presenting on the current political instability in Senegal, or dissecting the intricacies of the Gaulle speech in 1940 calling for resistance, you embody the true essence of academic excellence and compassionate leadership through your unwavering commitment and boundless curiosity. As you embark on your journey to new horizons in the world of international affairs, may you continue to serve as a beacon of inspiration to all you encounter, challenging those around you to engage with complex issues with an open mind, positive outlook, and an empathetic heart. It is my utmost honor to award this year's French Award to Olga Chandres. because 
How could he possibly rest when he could instead be coding an elegant algorithm that might unlock an otherwise intractable problem? Though I haven't taught our recipient computer science, I've had the good fortune to discuss computer science many times with them. This is because our recipient understands the essential role of collaboration and how the best and most important problems are too large for any one person to solve. His main term gave him the opportunity to put this into action. Along with two other collaborators, he built a playable video game in mere weeks. The real end product, though, was not the game, but what was learned about collaboration and software development within a team. In recognition of both his accomplishments and unwavering curiosity, please congratulate this year's Computer Science Awardee, Alex Abuhayu. outside the classroom that has truly distinguished our recipient. Our recipient's mathematical breadth is impressive. He has a deep appreciation for the abstract beauty of pure mathematics. However, he is also adept in the world of applied mathematics, using it as a tool to better understand how the world works. Consider his main term exploration into quantum mechanics. Most impressive, however, is our recipient's dedication to sharing his work with others. While some may find exploring math advanced mathematics a precarious endeavor, akin to cautiously venturing onto a sheet of thin ice. Our recipient's many hours of dedicated practice have allowed him to explore mathematics with the confidence of an experienced skater, gliding with both speed and agility. He maintains a blog where he publishes his work for others to appreciate. His love of mathematics is infectious, and he has served as an inspiration, mentor, and teacher for MKA's math club. For his remarkable mathematical accomplishments, including his commitment to collaboration, this year's Nazarian Prize is awarded to Gary Poo. Identity. 
Um, the centerpiece of her final project in world literature was an absolute evisceration of the type of misogyny critiqued in Tsitsi Dangaremga's Nervous Conditions. Um, a semester later, in AP Language, she read Kathy Park Hong, and she proved remarkably adept at weaving Hong's uh, acerbic wit into her own style. And she seemed particularly to take particular pleasure in lacing her essays with uh, little morsels of well-timed vulgarity, which was, I mean, like just brilliant, brilliant stuff. So I'll conclude with the fact that her writing, it's ferocious, it's witty, it's inspiring, it's wise, it's vulnerable. And I have sincerely relished reading every word of it over the last couple of years. So it is my great pleasure to present this year's Paris Award to Bella Q.
and relishing every challenge. Her zest for life and generous spirit are contagious. She is unapologetically herself, inspiring those around her. What makes her so special is her authenticity and lack of pretense. She doesn't seek accolades. She simply pursues her passions with unbridled enthusiasm, whether caring for an abandoned foal in Montana or mastering the Yunami language to help preserve its rich culture. A natural leader and mentor, our awardee created an informed peer advising group for younger students. They absolutely adored her guidance. When she presented her STEM research, she commanded the room like a seasoned teacher, engaging everyone with her knowledge and passion. Her impact extends far beyond the classroom walls. She's an EMT with a local ambulance corps, organized a documentary on neurodivergent women, and is involved in countless clubs and activities, from powerlifting to aerial skills. In our awardee, we see the true hallmarks of an MK education, a lifelong learner, critical thinker, ethical citizen, and compassionate leader. She reminds us that being true to oneself and following one's curiosity is the greatest achievement. I'm honored to present our final Heads Award to Naya Saker. contributions epitomize the ultimate team player. He's unselfish and he's very common. He led our team in rebounds and blocks, was second in steals and assists, fourth in scoring. Some of his highlights include 16 points and 16 rebounds against Don Academy in the prep semis, 14 points and 14 rebounds against uh, American History in the county semifinals. His efforts were critical to our division championship for the last two years. As our best defensive player, he understood angles and tendencies, making crucial on-the-fly on adjustments to help our team defense uh, be one of the best in our division. His exceptional performance did not go unnoticed. As, as the conference coaches select him as first team all-conference, first team all-prep B, additionally, he made the conference all-academic team underscoring his excellence both on and off the court. He truly mastered um, it all in all the realms. More importantly, he has grown into a community leader and an exemplar. Please join me in congratulating this year's Klein Award recipient, Manny Udoki. through the MKA Girls Soccer Program. What makes her so remarkable is that she rarely played goalkeeper in her high school career. She was such a talented athlete, such a consummate teammate, that she was both willing and able to play anywhere in the field we needed her. Her coach, her head coach, Luke, uh, refers to her as an unbelievable leader on the field and a great friend off the field. She was recognized in her senior year 
as a second team All-American uh, SEC Conference, and her best performance in her entire high school career came in her last game in the quarterfinals of the state tournament against a highly favored team that was the one seed against two D1 commits. She dominated the midfield and played maybe the best pass I've ever seen a female high school soccer player play. Now though she was an amazing soccer player, she was actually a true three-sport athlete. Captain of the basketball team, leading the team in rebounding and assists while being second in steals and scoring. She is also a decorated track star who still holds the school record in the long jump. Her teachers describe her as a resilient, independent, and incredibly hard worker. Though it takes a minute sometimes to get her to open up, when you do, she is unbelievably funny, warm, and kind. Her advisor beams about the fact of how much she has grown and how far she has come in her MK career. I know myself, I'm only so excited about seeing what is next. And for me, I am very, very selfishly psyched that she is staying local, that my daughter and I can still go see her play. It's with what a great pleasure that I award this year's Female Client Award to Solange Bell. she worked hard every day to get stronger and learn the different techniques for all of the throwing events. In just a few short weeks, she was showing a tremendous amount of promise. She was becoming another valuable piece of our very competitive team. A few weeks into the season, while doing some routine warm-up drills, she fell to the ground after feeling a crack and immediate pain in her ankle. One of our athletic trainers assessed her injury and referred her to the doctor for x-rays, which confirmed what they had suspected, a fractured bone in her ankle. What was shaping up to be a dream season quickly turned into a nightmare. This injury could have made even a veteran question her future with the sport, let alone a rookie. But in the little time she'd been throwing, she developed a true passion for it. <coughs> Soon after the initial diagnosis, she learned that thankfully, the injury wouldn't require surgery, and instead, with commitment to the care plan and physical therapy, she could return, potentially, in, a, in about a month. She worked tirelessly with our athletic trainers to get stronger every day when she was cleared to begin rehab. After weeks of rehab, she returned to our final two meets, scoring valuable points at both meets, leading our team to their first ever state group championship and second straight prep championship. Since then, she hasn't stopped improving. She broke the shot put school record in the spring of 2023 and has broken her own record five times since then. In two short years, she became our best shot put thrower ever and will continue her career at John Hopkins University. Please join me in congratulating the 2024 recipient of the Al Staff Award, Kellen Ivers. MK Scholar Athletes. Every spring, the Essex County Athletic Directors Association, the New Jersey State Interscholastic Athletic Association, recognize the contributions of senior student athletes throughout Essex County and the state of New Jersey. Succeeding at a high level academically while still performing at your very best athletically is no easy task. 
especially with the academic demands that our students place on themselves here at MK. The following seniors embody what being a true scholar athlete is and have achieved a high level of excellence in the classroom and on the athletic fields and courts during their careers. Please join me and congratulate the following scholar athletes and I would ask that the student athletes stand to be recognized. First, the Essex County Scholar Athlete Awards. Each year, the Essex County Athletic Directors Association selects a male and female recipient from each school in Essex County in recognition of their achievements in the classroom and within Essex County Athletics. I'm pleased to announce this year's Essex County Scholar Athlete Award recipients are Orly Sedransk with girls soccer, I mean, sorry, girls lacrosse, who just won her second state championship yesterday. Orly will be continuing her lacrosse career at University of Pennsylvania College, or University of Pennsylvania this fall. Congratulations, Orly. And our male recipient was Nick Snyder in cross country and boys lacrosse. Nick will be continuing his lacrosse career at Hapford College this fall. Congratulations. <laughs> Orly and Nick were recognized at a dinner on May 6th at the Knees in the Park in Belvin, New Jersey. The NJSIA Scholar Athlete Award recipient is given to that student athlete who has maintained no less than a 3.0 GPA and has exhibited outstanding school and community citizenship and has exhibited excellence in his or her chosen sport throughout their high school career. I'm pleased to announce that this year's MK recipient is indoor track and track and field captain, Kellen Ivers. <laughs> Kellen was honored at a lunch on May 19th at the Pines Manor in Edison. And finally, the Yogi Berra Museum's Best Teammate Award. This year, Eli Solomon Baseball was selected as MK's recipient of the Yogi Bear Museum's Best Teammate Award, given to that MK team member who represents the very best of what being an MK teammate is all about. Eli was recognized at a special event at the Yogi Bear Museum with other athletes throughout Essex County on May 22nd. Congratulations, Eli. The 2024 MK Varsity Awards. In a day of sports specialization, when club, travel, and select teams seem to dominate the adolescent sporting world, more and more athletes participate in one or more, maybe two seasons of high school sports. It's great to see that high school team sports still matter and that the classic throwback three sport athlete can still exist and be incredibly successful. Athletes who train year round and represent their school at the highest level in all three seasons. The MK Varsity Award recognizes senior athletes for their dedication, success, and achievement throughout the course of their MK athletic careers. The MK Varsity Award is given in recognition to those senior athletes who have received 10 or more varsity letters throughout their MK athletic careers. This year we have four senior athletes who have achieved this illustrious honor and will receive the MK Varsity Award. I would ask that you come up and receive the award. In soccer, basketball, and track and field, Solange Bell. track and track and field, Maggie Horn. <laughs> and finally, in cross country, indoor track and track and field, Olga Chanduska. The 
2024 Spring Captain's Award. The MK Captain's Award is given out each season to that MK team captain who has exhibited the qualities that we look for in our team captains. Leadership, dedication, respect, work ethic, and being a role model both on and off the field to his or her teammates and peers. His coach writes, they say a coach is only as good as the team he or she coaches. Well, I would like to take that one step further. A successful team is only as good as their captain. Without the incredible leadership he displayed throughout the season and unwavering dedication he has given to the team, we would not have experienced the incredible level of success we had this season. He has instilled a winning attitude on our team with both our freshmen and upperclassmen always pushing the team to do better and not afraid of working hard to achieve that goal. He has worked hard on and off the court and his enthusiasm for the game and loyalty towards his teammates is remarkable. It was a true pleasure coaching him and although he will be missed, his spirit and winning attitude will resonate with the team for years to come. These attributes will not only serve him well as he continues his collegiate athletic career this fall, but as he continues forward in life. Please join me in congratulating the recipient of the MK Spring Captain's Award, Senior Boys Tennis Captain, Luis Cito Crespo. Like Sally Field back in the Oscars today. Like, you love me, you really love me. I'll take this for Cito. Thank you. Good evening. I'm so pleased to honor forced leaders today who have earned Presidential Volunteer Service Awards. In between AP courses, college applications, and demanding athletic schedules, many of which you just heard about. These students have prioritized service to their communities, and in doing so, remind us that engaging with the community is not simply another task for our to-do list, but rather is an essential feature of what it means to be human. First, with a passion for aviation, Gary Gao has volunteered over 220 hours this past year, volunteering at the Aviation Hall of Fame and Museum of New Jersey, the Civil Air Patrol, and even pitching in at Aviation Day at Liberty Science Center. Congratulations, Gary, on earning a silver presidential award. from a serious shortage of emergency medical service technicians, EMTs. Townships have struggled with the associated costs and with attracting new volunteers. With that in mind, three upper school seniors, I'm gonna ask all of them to come up together in a minute. Stephen Hatfield, Henry Kilcoyne, and Kellen Ivers have stepped up and responded to this call for volunteers, and in doing so, have committed themselves to tiring shifts in the ambulance, logging emergencies at the call centers, and long nights helping the citizens of their towns. First, Stephen Hatfield has served over 180 hours with the Verona Rescue Squad and has earned a silver presidential award. Henry Kilcoyne has volunteered over 260 hours with the Cedar Grove Rescue Squad and has earned a gold presidential award. And finally, Kellen Ivers has served 360 hours with the West Essex Grade First Aid Squad and has also earned a gold award. Stephen, Henry, and Kellen, thank you all for your service and for keeping our family safe. Congratulations, come on. Do what all typical teenagers do to celebrate. 
She went straight to the Montclair Animal Shelter to walk the dogs there, a task she'd been waiting to do for many years. As a committed volunteer at the shelter, this student is a regular, walking the dogs, playing with them, and documenting her work, highlighting the animals in need of adoption on her Instagram site. But the work that she has done there has also spread to the halls of MKA. She has led collection drives for the shelter, and she re recently presented a Tuesday talk about why this work is so important to her. It's not surprising, therefore, that the Montclair Animal Shelter is one of the most popular service trips we offer here. Most recently, this year's award winner chose to further her commitment to the shelter for May term. She was there practically every day, walking the dogs, creating videos to share with the community. The student explains, my passion for animals is enormous. That is why, to me, spending time with them, cherishing each walk, and giving them the love they desire is the most fulfilling way to spend my May term. In the midst of this good work, this student has also been awarded a Bronze Presidential Volunteer Service Award for over 100 hours of service to the shelter. I'm so pleased to present the 2024 Community Engagement Award to Orly Sidrance.
It is my honor to present a prize named for my friend Everett Glenn. Many in this room remember Everett. Some have only heard him by name, but all of you have been impacted by Everett's legacy and the profound mark that he left on this place. Dr. Flacco starts every year by reminding the student body that you get out of the house system what you put into it. I'm, I feel like this is something that I said to him in my exit interview, and I was probably thinking about Everett when I said it because that kid put everything into the house system. Everett was a freshman when the system was launched, and its continuation was dependent on younger students like him taking the reins and making it better than what it was. We have all been impacted by Everett's leadership, and tonight we honor his legacy by bestowing this award on someone who has championed that legacy of community <coughs> building and the creation of joy. Like Everett, this captain executed her duties with pride and excellence, demonstrating an innate ability to inspire, motivate, and unite her house. This recipient leads by example, and without question has left the house system in a better place than she found it. For that reason, I am proud to award this year's Everett Glenn Memorial House Captain Medal to Stronghouse's own Kendall Walls. mentoring freshmen, running synergies, or leading the senior class, this student demonstrated qualities that made them a beacon of kindness and respect within our community. Empathy is at the core of this young man's soul, and the gentle nature he exudes will leave a lasting legacy. His advisor, Dr. Tuaz, on comments, in advisor group, he simply brings a positive attitude and was loved by everyone. Not only a socially and emotional rock star, this student is a respected scholar, one of only two seniors to be recognized with an honorary mention in the National Spanish Exam. A talented mathematician, Mr. Harris states, I appreciate his enthusiasm and ability to work with, learn from, and explain material to his peers. The Moorhead Scholar Program recognizes leaders with an ability to influence, energize, and inspire others to make an impact. I cannot think of another student who is energized inspired and impacted so many students at MKA as our recipient this evening, our very own MK, MKA influencer. In recognition of their outstanding character, it is my pleasure to present this award to Devon Ramsey. Job, 
This student approaches life with inner strength and calm. MKA is driven to give students experiences where they can grow and strengthen their character. As Honor Council Chair, she has been committed to helping all students grow from mistakes while upholding the integrity of the Honor Code. It's clear that this student lives MKA's character standards. She's a friend on and off the field. She displays confidence and honesty, acts responsibly in and outside of the classroom, and infuses every group that she's a part of with positive energy. Please join me in congratulating Shea Brennan. this year's Elliot Herbert Memorial Award to a student who truly embodies the qualities of curiosity, engagement, and character. According to Ms. Hoppy, this student has been a force in the arts. Whether it's remix, the dance program, or the musical, her impact is immeasurable. She walks into a room, onto a stage, into a class, and it just lights up. Her talent has helped all of our programs soar, but her soul will be missed so much more. We are just filled with gratitude. As a peer leader, her vibrant personality and authenticity has not only made her an incredible role model for her advisor group, but for all students, and has strengthened our peer leader program as a whole. As one of the leaders of BSA, this student has exhibited the same kindness and grace. Tony Jones, her BSA advisor notes, when she speaks, others listen, with respect and admiration, even when she's orchestrating a challenging conversation. Her authenticity and curiosity extended into ac academics. Her engagement in her junior thesis ran so deep that she continued with it as an independent study. Kyle Salkin, our history department chair, shares, even though I only taught her in 10th grade, she's so genuinely enthusiastic about her academics that I feel like I've taught her every year. She'll often stop by to share a research discovery or just to chat about what she's learning. She truly loves learning, and that enthusiasm is contagious. For all of these reasons, and so, so many more, I'm honored to congratulate Jalen Alexander. back almost 75 years, each having its own special meaning and significance to the Kimberly School, Montclair Academy, and MKA. The Spur and Easter Awards memorialize great women from the Kimberly School. The Deachin Award is named for a long-standing family with roots that go back to Montclair Academy and stretch to the present day. The Hemeter Award is given in memory of a beloved Montclair Academy and MKA faculty member. And the Greer Award, our most recent edition, recognizes the founder of our character education program that is the hallmark of this institution and is presented to an eighth grader and a twelfth grader each year. I am honored, solely through position, to present these awards, acting as an extension of the faculty who deliberated many hours to select the winners. These and all awards given today will be listed in tomorrow's commencement program. The Marjorie Winfield Easter Award. Every once in a while, a student comes along who, through her grace, work ethic, commitment to service, and generous spirit, inspires those around her to be their best selves. Our winner of the Easter and McKeel Awards is set just such a student. Her leadership in reimagining MK's partnership with Oasis, a nonprofit organization in her hometown, of Patterson has been truly transformative. 
In the face of the pandemic, when traditional community service was disrupted, she stepped up and ensured that critical educational and social services continued without interruption. As Unidos' co-leader, she has created a welcoming space for Hispanic and Latino students and significantly increased their visibility and connection. Our awardee's academic achievements are truly remarkable. Her honors junior's thesis on women in STEM during the Manhattan Project was outstanding, earning her high research distinction. She has pursued her passion for science through advanced coursework and summer programs, a testament to her commitment to learning and potential for future success. Impact that extends far beyond the classroom. She's a four-year library leadership member, admissions ambassador, lab tutor, and captain of both softball and volleyball teams. MKA is undeniably, undeniably, a better, more inclusive community because of our awardee. Her legacy marked by her dedication, service, and leadership will endure long after she leaves us. I'd like to think that she is better for having been here, but I can guarantee you that we are better for having had her here. I'm honored to present the Marjorie Winfield Easter and Bud McKeel Scholarship to Eunice Fernandez. family envisioned this award decades ago, they undoubtedly had this young woman in mind. Celebrating the very best of what it means to be a student athlete of strong character, our awardee is one of the best athletes our school has ever seen and possesses a potent combination of athletic ability, intellectual curiosity, and unquestionable character. A three-sport athlete who has excelled in basketball, lacrosse, and soccer, a winner of the Varsity Award, and a team captain. She has earned accolades and honors too numerous to mention. She was even named to the all-academic lacrosse team, but her impact goes far beyond her athletic accomplishments. She radiates positivity and resilience. She's always looking on the bright side of things and encourages others to do the same. She's a driving force in our community, but also leads humbly. As a peer leader, she mentors younger students and her genuine care and friendliness have made her a beloved figure among her peers and faculty. Her engagement, enthusiasm, and eagerness to learn are truly inspiring in the classroom. Her science teacher, Dr. Blum, praised her incredible work ethic and attention to detail, setting a high standard for academic engagement. And Mr. Cook described her as a cool mix of mature, funny, confident, and authentic. Outside of school, our awardee's commitment to community service is noteworthy. She volunteers weekly at the Verona Rescue Squad, a testament to her selflessness and commitment to helping others. It's a potent combination indeed. I'm pleased to present the Rudolph Deachin Award to Aaron Curran. Teaching Award is simply an exceptional young man whose actions and character set a standard for all of us. Yes, he's a gifted and decorated athlete and one of the strongest students in the senior class. But still more importantly, he possesses a level of integrity and kindness not often found in this world. In the simplest moments, whether picking up a discarded wrapper or actively participating in our class, in class, our awardee shows his commitment to our community. He extends his hand and heart to those around him, exemplifying true leadership without expecting anything in return. This inclusivity is a testament to his character. His moral compass is commendably strong. Faced with challenging social dynamics, he stood up against misogyny, earning high praise from peers and teachers. 
Mr. Leather highlighted him as a role model who resists peer pressure and influences his friends positively, promoting respect and equality. His dual academic and athletic talents and artistic flair make him a standout individual. Despite a demanding schedule, he excels in every area, from leading roles in theater to captainship in cross country and co-chairing our Student Athletic Council, all while maintaining an excellent academic record. Decorated athlete, absolutely. Strong student, one of our strongest. But his character truly sets him apart and is what will make him truly missed here at the upper school. I'm pleased to present the Rudolph Deachin Award to Stephen Hatfield. Another way to describe what the faculty aims to recognize in the Hemeter recipient is a Renaissance person. In this case, a woman with insatiable curiosity, boundless energy, and many talents. She is the epitome of a modern day polymath. Our awardee's academic achievements are extraordinary. As a three-time faculty scholar and McVicker Award recipient, she has consistently demonstrated dedication to intellectual growth, and personal character. From Victorian literature to languages like Swahili and Korean, her thirst for knowledge knows no bounds. But her brilliance transcends academics. She's a gifted athlete, excelling in cross country and setting county records. Her leadership shines through organizations like Debate, Student Government, and Oasis, where she's made tangible community impact. Her ability to balance numerous pursuits with grace and humility is noteworthy. Whether volunteering at a homeless shelter, teaching Sunday school, or working part-time at a gelato shop, she approaches every task with unwavering dedication and genuine warmth. Her charismatic personality, determination, and integrity have earned her admiration and respect from peers and teachers. She's a true leader who inspires others to reach their potential while fostering an inclusive, collaborative, collaborative environment. Our awardee embodies the Renaissance ideal, a well-rounded individual with diverse talents and interests, driven by curiosity and a desire to improve the world. We all look forward to what our awardee will accomplish at her next stop and beyond. I'm pleased and honored to present the Hemeter Award to Maggie Horn. MK's mission statement asks us to provide our students with a transformative education. I'm not sure anyone in this year's senior class embodies the transformative experience better than our winner of this year's Spur Award. She's been grappling with and embracing her identity as a fourth generation Chinese American. She did not see herself as an advocate or leader for a long time, nor felt compelled to become one. However, the rise of anti-Asian hate crimes in 2020 was a turning point. Admittedly, she was scared, frustrated, and horrified. It took these innumerable tragedies to make her stand up as her identity was provoked and no longer be a bystander while the AAPI community was devastated. This experience ignited her advocacy efforts and shaped her involvement in MKA's AAPI affinity group. With her co-leader, she turned the group into a driving force, ensuring AAPI Heritage Month was celebrated across all three campuses. Her vision was to raise awareness and foster a sense of belonging in that community. Her commitment extended further. She drove initiatives to help all students navigate the upper school, acting as an intermediary between faculty and students. She created RicesMe.com with a peer to close educational gaps for AAPI students. Right before our eyes, she has grown into a leader, advocate, and ally for the Asian American community 
and all students at the upper school. Transformed? I would say so, and we are better for it. I'm honored to present the Ethel M. Spur Award to Emma Choi. Aristotle purported knowing thyself as evidence of true character. Our awardee exemplifies this and so much more. She knows herself and knows how to inspire others. Her academic accolades are well documented, but this award is about strong character and commitment to the greater good. Her academic achievements and accomplishments are too vast to list, nor would it do her justice, because she is so much more. Possessing a steadfast commitment to environmental sustainability, our awardee developed an algae bioreactor as part of her SRH course, is at the heart of environmental action, and spent May term on a sustainable farm. She ran the Enact Club here, helped create a community engagement trip to the Bonzal Preserve, ran our carbon neutral commitment committee, and organized students to grow plants for the green roof. She's part of the Montclair Climate Association and was a national youth delegate at the Washington Youth Summit for Environmental Action. She was an integral part of MKA's winning the Green Flag Award for Environmental Sustainability. In a broader sense, our awardee, our awardee is a phenomenal human being whose cheerful personality is as beautiful as her accomplishments. She's humble and fun, never one to boast, but instead letting the work speak for itself. She's remarkable and intelligent, inquisitive and intellectual, with a vibrant personality and a smile that brightens any room she enters. Those qualities don't come without knowing myself. I'm pleased to present the Peter R. Greer Award for Character to Ellis Furtick. for me really represents a thoughtful and reflective moment in the whirlwind of our end of year events for the upper school. Tonight we pause to recognize the exceptional contributions these outstanding students have made to the MKA community. As I listened in, words like joy, curiosity, inquiry, character, humility, resilience, and many more described these amazing students. And tonight I thought about the ways that these students really enter the community unto itself of the nearly 60 awardees, if we think about what that means over the history of our school, every year we're fleshing out 50 to 60 people that are change makers out into the world. What an incredible legacy. I really enjoy this time, though, for in each recognition that's written and read by a faculty member, I hear evidence of what we know to be an MKA truth. Your children are known, and being known, seen, and heard is a powerful thing. Because we know your children, we can authentically recognize and celebrate them. The beautiful words crafted by the faculty point to how the excellence, brilliance, creativity, integrity, and ethical leadership of your children shine so brightly. And we are assured that these students will carry the best of MKA out into this world 
that so desperately needs our very best. Thank you all for being here tonight to celebrate these students. We'll see you tomorrow at graduation. Thank you.